So in this video, we're still on the Spark. We're going to be doing the active track with the car. Um, I haven't got a lot of faith because <laughs> it didn't work particularly well when I was walking. So the car, I don't know. Anyway, what I will do, I will show you the setup um, and then we'll go from there really. Now that's going to be a little bit difficult because um, I've only bought one camera with me. And what I'm going to try and do is obviously going to see the screen thing. I might have to do a talk over um, because what I'm going to do is get the drone off the ground. We're going to lock it onto the car. Uh, and obviously I will take the controller with me so I can see what's going on. And then we'll go that way and we'll go that way and see how well it goes. <laughs> Fingers crossed it should work. It's, it's supposed to work. I've seen loads of videos of it working and the car's zooming along and it looks amazing. But does it really work? Because I do wonder with these professional YouTubers with drones and that, how many outtakes and how many batteries they do. I've only got one battery left. <laughs> so I don't want to spend a long time on the active track with the car. So fingers crossed, it's all going to go well. <laughs> we'll see. Meet Spark. Small, colorful, smart. A powerful flying camera that you can take anywhere. It's so clever, it activates by recognizing you. Just launch it from the palm of your hand. It even returns when you call it. And land like this. Easy. Can't get everyone in the shot? No problem. Watch as it hovers precisely in place, always at your command. Control it with your hands, remote controller, mobile device, or DJI goggles. Using GPS, Spark knows where it is, even if you don't. It'll even sense obstacles to avoid things in front of it and come home safely. Think you got smooth moves? Spark's footage is smoother. It takes the shake out of your shot, so you look like a pro. Not feeling the control sticks? Perform preset flight maneuvers with a single click and get those epic shots. Here's a way to stand out from the crowd. Spark automatically adds shallow depth of field to your photos. If you don't know how to fly, just tap fly. Let's see if you can handle sport mode. Spark keeps you in the frame, so all you need to do is act naturally. Edit your epic videos and share them instantly. Spark your aerial creativity anywhere. All you need to do is seize the moment. So what I've done, I've gone into my Wi-Fi on my phone to get the Wi-Fi setting for the Spark. Now sometimes, guys, it does take a little bit of time to load up. Sometimes when you go into the app, it's saying it's disconnected. Just come out of that, go back into the Wi-Fi setting, go back into it and it, it, it will connect. So, first thing to do is get the drone off the ground. So we just get that off. Okay, why isn't it, why isn't it doing that? Is the, no, the spark's on it. Oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong one. Take so, off, the home point the has been updated. Please let's get check the drone up. Map. Let's get the drone up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the drone around, get it onto the car. Um, let's bring the gimbal down a bit. Okay, I have to bring the car back a bit. Okay. Um, right, so go into the intelligent mode, track in. Okay, we we'll drag it onto the car. It's okay, it's done the trace, and it's already gone. You've got a little symbol of the car. 
So what we're going to do now, you're going to lose me on the on this camera, and I'm probably going to have to um, talk over it. But anyway, let's get on with the car. So it's still saying go. I'm just got in the car. I'm just getting the keys out. Obviously, got to get my seatbelt on. I still don't know if you can hear me. Probably can't. Um, but what I am going to do, I'm going to turn around. Okay, I'm going to press the record. It's going go. So I'm going to bring the car backwards. Okay, it's still okay still we're still on okay that's good i'm going to turn it here okay so this is when i lost the uh, microphone so you can't hear me on the camera so i'm doing the talk over now as you can see the green bars are still on the car and um it's going fine i'm not going at great speed i mean it looks a bit faster than that i'll put up an another actual video from the drone so that might make it look a bit more i i think i was only going about 10 maybe 15 miles per hour if that really um and i'm coming up to a turning point now um and i think this is when it started to uh play up a little bit as you can see i'm turning around and it's still on me at the moment it's still there you can see the green lines uh, but already you see the yellow lines coming up now and I've lost it um, and what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you the actual uh, drone footage from the spark because <laughs> I had to stop the video because um, it disconnected so I had to do it over again get back into it uh, and then what I'm going to do now I'm just going to show you some live footage from the drone the spark um okay I'm, i was a bit disappointed with that i thought at first oh that's looking good i brought the drone down quite low and it was going along i went sort of about about 20 20k if that i did try to get up to 30k once i put up to 30k it just lost it uh, and there was a few glitches really and I was on the straight road. It's not like there was any obstacles. Um, so, yeah, I, I didn't think it went very well. And then when I tried the 360, it started doing it. But And I was I must have been doing about 10 miles, if that. I was going really slow. And, um, yeah, it wasn't coping at all with it. So, to me, <laughs> on the car, not very good. 
And to be quite honest, I'm amazed at these um, YouTube videos with these guys um, that get sort of supported by DJI. How many battery? I mean, I, I was on the red when they weren't particularly that long, really, because you only get 10 minutes of that. Um, and it was, it went so quick. Um, and to, I suppose, to be honest, if you was in the car, what would be the point, really? You know, not even maybe eight minutes of footage if, if you were still connected. And I was on the straight bit. Um, so I do wonder about these, <laughs> those videos that you do see where the car's going all over the place and they have no problem. I do wonder how many takes they've done. With me, I just come out and I just get on with it. Uh, and to me, that's, that's how it should be. Because that's how you would normally go out when you're flying your drone. You just come out. You get a couple of problems sometimes, just even connecting up to the spot, doesn't always go straight in. But if you just take your time, you go in, and then you go through the uh, rigmarole of getting it all set up. Um, yeah. So, my thoughts on the Spark with the active track. I think walking is good for cameo shots and that. The car, yeah, okay, but you, you're going to need quite a few of these batteries, I think, to get some good footage. So, it, I'm not going to continue with the Spark this time. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move on from the Spark to my Mavic Pro drone. Um, that came out a couple of years ago. But what I am going to do in the next video, we're going to compare this drone, which is a Spark, with the Mini 2 and the Mavic Mini, uh, and just sort of do a comparison. Because I think personally, if you was thinking about buying a small drone, if you can get this 50 quid, then yeah, go for it. But if you can't get hold of this drone, I still think get the Mini Mini 2, maybe the Mini 2 SE. I haven't got the Mini, Mini 2 SE, so I don't know how, that's, I think that's a Wi-Fi based drone. But the, the Mini 2, if you can just get the controller in the Mini 2, and no doubt there's going to be a lot of those, especially on eBay uh, in the next couple of weeks because there's a new Mini 3 coming out. So it might be worth having a look at that. And maybe by the time you get to watch this video, the Mini 3 Pro's already out. I don't know. But we're going to do a comparison with those three drones uh, and just see um, what's the difference, the price. Is it worth getting a... A spark still i think you know for a, a first timer yeah st still a brilliant little drone but you know the, the the comparison in costs haven't gone up a lot if anything this spark costs a lot more uh than the mini 2 or especially the the mini 2 se for instance anyway that's gonna be in the next video uh, and also like i said after that we're gonna go into the mavic pro drone I love that drone, but I had, I had some big dislikes about it, which I'll tell you about later on. But anyway, as always say, keep watching, fly safe, and yeah, I'll catch you next time. Another lovely day. <laughs> Bit muddy.